Oh, my name is uh, Lionel Williams. I'm from the Inambar tribe, the, one of the last tribes to leave the Wairock camping areas. And I lived in Mewarina all my life until just recently I moved away to Victoria. And I missed the old river. Yeah, we done a lot of fishing here with my cousins and my mates and that every in the afternoon after school we used to go fishing. And when the fish was in abundance we used to catch a lot of fish. Crayfish, the shrimp and the uh, mussels. They used to live in the weeds and that they used to be in the river which is not there anymore. So you can't get this sort of bait anymore around in the river. And most of the native fish are gone. You might get a few yellow in now and then but that's for the catfish and the uh, black brim. You very seldom see any of those around here anymore. You only get a yellow buddy are uh, the golden perch or the uh, carp now. The river used to be nice and clear and and the river's just gone downhill ever since they put the cotton and the uh, carp in the river. And the water's been dirty ever since they put the carp in there because the carp goes along the banks of the river so it's landed in the mud and that looking for things to eat and that and cotton has had a big impact on the river because they're taking too much water out of the river at one time. Up above me about 20 or 30 feet, the water was right up there and about a month ago when we had the big rains come through. And back in the early days when I was growing up on the river, when you got a big rise like that, the river hung around at that level for two to three weeks and it gradually fell back. But now you can stand and you can watch the water going back. Yeah, well, I like to talk about uh, where the white man ruined the uh, fish traps here. They put a weir up above it here and ever since they built it there, when you get a bit of a flow, you get dirt over the weir and it's just laying below the weir there now and it's covering up all the rocks and all the fishery. That's why we got all the silty because of that weir there. Before when we didn't have the weir there, we did not have anything that silt enough in when we used to come down fishing. You, know, you had one little island in the river there in the middle of it and that was it. But now you got those little islands everywhere there behind me. Well to all my my people that lived here on the river now, it means their life to them. But they don't want to leave the river. Without the river they, they've got nothing. We used to come down here to where I'm sitting down at the top of the bank here. We used to play rugby league here every afternoon in the water. It's only used to be ankle deep. I wouldn't do it these days because uh, you don't know what you're going to find. But at the moment we've got a couple of kids over here playing in the water there now. And they look like they're having a good time like we used to in those days. But there'll be no more of that, say, in 10 to 15 years because I don't think we're going to have any rivering. <laughs>